These are fully automatic, of course. And let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors. And you do have blind spot monitoring. HID headlights with LED turn signal indicators. Now coming to the front end, I love the grill of the GL, I have to say. And I really love the LED turn signals and you do have LED daytime running lights as well. And I think it kind of looks like the CLA and the new S-Class somewhat. And I think it has a very restrained look, but again, it looks very mature and restrained at the same time. And it just screams elegance, I have to say. Now, under the hood of this big body Benz is a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel. Now, you will expect to find EPA estimated mileage of 19 in the city and 26 on the highway with a okay 240 horsepower but that's not the big news here it's the amount of torque it has 450 pound feet of torque that moves this big body bends around now optional is also a 4.7 liter v8 and if you want to step up to the very expensive GL63 AMG, you can get a 5.5 liter V8. But this powertrain definitely gets the job done and made it with the seven speed automatic transmission. It makes a wonderful couple. But this turbo diesel is a very refined and powerful powertrain and it definitely gets the job done and paired with the seven speed automatic transmission it makes for a wonderful pair pricing of the GL starts at around sixty three thousand dollars and then it can move up all the way to ninety thousand dollars and then the special edition GL 63 AMG is a whopping one hundred and twenty thousand dollars now competitors of the GL are in the full-size luxury SUV class and the GL is definitely one of the best full-size luxury SUVs but competitors range from the Cadillac Escalade, the Lexus LX, Infiniti QX, the Lincoln Navigator as well. Now coming to the rear end you have LED turn signal indicators but no LED tail lamps which I'm actually kind of surprised about that but you do have LED turn signals. And I really love how the bumper is designed for some reason. I just really loved how the GLs have that bumper design. Then you have the your rear window defroster with a rear window wiper and a shark fin antenna up there, of course. And if you get the diesel, you'll get that blue tech badging right there. But as you can see, it's a very large SUV. You have your running boards right here, which makes access into the jail much easier. Nice stitched armrest, stitching right here on the mid door panel, and soft touch materials on the upper door panel, of course. It's a Mercedes. Your power windows, power mirrors, your power door locks are located right here, and your memory seat settings for three people. And let's go ahead and rev up this monster and see what kind of soundtrack she makes.
right? Now, first thing I'm noticing is that there is a little bit of clattering from that diesel engine, but it's definitely not what I expected. I tested out a Chevy Cruze diesel the other day, and there was much clattering in that, but this is way more refined. Now, build quality and materials are, of course, excellent. Um, nice stitching, soft touch materials everywhere. In places you expect them, and in places you really don't expect them. Now you do have tri-zone automatic climate control, dual zone up here of course, and here's your different temperatures and your different zones. And it's actually very ergonomically correct. Um, 